Hey, Max here. This is going to be episode two of Collector Talk. This is a podcast about Blu-ray movies, steelbooks, toys, all kinds of stuff. It's kind of all over the place, but it should be fun. It's a lot of stuff coming up on my radar. Uh, hopefully, you guys should be looking for the stuff out, too. I have a guest in this episode. It's my wife, Ducky. Hello. And she likes movies, so thought it'd be a little bit more enjoyable to have another voice on in this uh, episode. See how it goes. Well, let's get into it. Let's see what's coming up. Some steelbook news. Okay, here is the Pirates of the Caribbean um, Dead Men Tell No Tales steelbook. This is on Zavi. Uh, this is a shirt that you could get if you buy from the UK portion of Zavi.com. I'm not sure why, but they have some different deals on the UK version. You could do a login there and they still ship worldwide. Um, what do you think of this, Ducky? I really like the image. I'm looking forward to the movie. I hope, hopefully it's a pretty good movie. What yeah, do you it looks pretty cool. I like the shirt a lot. What about the steelbook? Um, it's the, uh, logo for the movie, so that's pretty cool. It's, of course, creative and not final, but, um, it's probably gonna be that, I have a feeling. I'm up for it, though. What about, I don't, I'm not going to go for the shirt, I don't think. I like the shirt. Oh, you do? It's, it's, do you get the shirt? Hmm. There's the things that say keep calm and yeah. something. And it's instead of keep calm, oh, it's I keep see. calm. Why is the rum gone? <laughs> okay. It's a great shirt. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll uh, cancel and reorder with the shirt. Yeah. Here's just a closer look. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is on my good for this episode. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, here's a upcoming DC anime movie, Vixen the Movie, and it's based on, like, the uh, CW universe with Flash and Arrow. Yeah. They made the characters look... I can see the Arrow and the Flash look like... I'd like to watch this. Yeah. Uh, here's an Iron Giant Collector's Edition. Mm-hmm. Comes with the art book. I think it's a missed opportunity not to also make this a steel book. I would have loved to see a, a cool steel book design. Well, they should make it out of iron since it's an iron, iron. Iron book? Yep. That would be a first. They have a little, the statue and stuff. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, here's a upcoming look at... The remaster of Unforgiven, which looks really good. Uh, hopefully, they get a steel book too. Uh, Shin Godzilla, which I want to see. Uh, if any viewers, anyone watching this right now, and you saw Shin Godzilla, tell me how it is. Is it new or is it old? It's um. No, it's a new one. It's not a U.S. Uh, production of it though. So it's a guy in a suit. Yeah, it should be. Or maybe it is CG, and I'm not sure. Well, the cover kind of looks like the old yeah. suit thing. I hope it's a guy in a suit. I like that. It's fun. Here's a look at Alien, uh, the six-film collection steelbook from Zavi. Really cool. Has all the aliens there. We saw Alien Covenant. It was a really good movie. Here's just a poster of the Justice League. Uh, I like this poster. I hope they do something similar with this, with the actual Blu-ray release when it comes out. Mm -hmm. Who are you most excited to see in this? Um, out of these five. I don't know. Flash, maybe? Like, I was looking forward to Aquaman, but I'm kind of leaning more towards Flash. I'm. They're, like, tied to me. Because I really like how Ezra Miller appears in the trailers. It might He's... change after I see Wonder Woman, though, because that looks pretty good, too. Oh, yeah. Wonder Woman's coming up quick. Yeah. Here's a hot... Looking at a hot toy. Uh, it's the alien egg. That would freak me out. See, I think if they have to do this, though, they have to do, like, the slime and the egg opening, though, too. That would make it really cool. That would be kind of scary. Creepy. In your house? Yeah. 
but he's but Hot Toys and Sideshow collect collectibles is so detailed. Mm -hmm. I would think instead of a statue, they could do like a little bit of a mechanism to open gooey thing. That's gross. That would be cool. You'd be so like, scared come, of it. Come see my statue. You would be so scared of that. <laughs> come see my statue. Have people come over and then all of a sudden it open and smooth. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. In the middle of the night, I'm going to put it in your bed. And oh, then you're going to wake up and no. be scared. <laughs> Here's the Joker. Sideshow collectible. Mm. Groot. Which Baby I have to, Groot. I have to get on this because my my wife Ducky really wants this one. We don't collect a lot. We're it'll we be my first hot toy. We appreciate hot toys and sideshow collectibles, but we're not collectors. But she really wants this, so I have to get on it. I yes. have to find out when. It's is, the only hot toy that I have ever wanted. And he's life size. <laughs> he's life size because he's so small. Yes. And he's so cute. And I'm sure he'll sell. I gotta check the seat. I don't even know if the pre order's up or what. You better check. Okay. Here's a Wonder Woman poster. And here's like, uh, I told you this podcast could go all over the place. This is a, it's not a hidden gem because Transformers the movie, the animated movie, is a classic and well regarded. But right now, it's 13 and 9 cents on Amazon. And I did not pay that price. I wish I, wish I waited. The because movie? It, yeah, it's a steel book too. Oh. Okay. So if you're looking for it, you haven't picked it up yet, this is a great time. Is it also on Netflix for free? That's not the point of this podcast, Ducky. <laughs> she has a hard time with the steelbooks. I have gone a little crazy with the steelbooks lately. Um, hence this podcast. But it's it's great to have a little piece of memor movie memorabilia along with your movie watching. And... In my the reason I like collecting steel books is it's like great getting some of the great poster and artworks on a small form instead of have post it's cool to have posters all over your room too but this is my way to celebrate the movie and that's a cool steel book it's a nice steel book thirteen dollars and nine cents for a steel book is great even if it is on Netflix so great bargain there okay let's move on here. Uh, Kong Skull Island. I this is one of my most anticipated steel books. I love that image of King Kong. I re I really like the movie. I think it could have been better. I I would like I'm not looking forward to watching it again. Uh, but I as a steel book cover goes, this is one of my favorites. What do you think? It's pretty cool. And then there's a close up of the alien. It has, like, all the different aliens so far we've seen. Like, the queen, the regular xenomorph, the one that had, like, the human face, and all, it's from, all the different ones. From Prometheus. Which, no, it's not from Prometheus. It's oh, from, that was, no, you're right, sorry. No. That was from Resurrection. Yeah. I don't sorry. remember, like, what the one next to that one is, though. Hmm. With the, like weird thing. Now this is for the six film collection, but I also have some shots coming up in this episode of um, just the single release. I think it's at Best Buy where I got it from. Just for Covenant. Oh, here it is. Covenant. Alien Covenant. The Steelbook. I think this is the blue, the Best Buy version. Uh, I like the six film version better than this image. I think... If you want to talk about poster or that poster is really cool on the inside. Yeah, that I like the inside a lot. Mm -hmm. I do like that. Mm -hmm. But the front cover, I'm just like, okay. Mm -hmm. And the discs, the discs are cool. Yeah, the one with the, the face, that's cool. Transformers has some Zavi steelbooks coming out. This is the four pack that comes in a case. And it is now sold out, but you could get the um, individual ones. Power Rangers. Um, you can pre-order this on Target.com right now. I think it's like twenty two ninety nine. I was really looking forward to this movie. We did not see it in the theater, but I'm looking forward to the home release. I really wish it did better worldwide. I'm not sure if it'll get a second movie or not. But everything about this movie looks really cool. Looks fun. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And definitely get that pre-order in at Target because it, it might sell out. More Steelbooks, American Gods, Fargo, the 20th anniversary. I'll go through these a little quicker because the video is going a little bit long. Um, John Carpenter's The Fog, They Live. Escape from New York, very cool. Wonder Woman, commemorative edition, uh, collectible steelbook at Target. And this is now sold out. I wish I would have. This is not the new movie. No. This is the animated. Okay. I'm just making um, that clear. Right. Uh, Target used somehow has some type of agreement with these DC animated movies. So I'm going to be on the lookout from now on. I wish I would have known that ahead of time. That's a cool one. Star Trek Discovery, um, they recently released a trailer for it. I'm still looking forward to it. I wish the trailer was a little bit better. It has Sasha Green from the other TV series she's on, Walking Dead. And it looks okay. I wish they would have went a different route with the premise instead of it's like before the original crew again. And they already did something like that in Enterprise. I, I didn't see the trailer, so I don't know. The tri This image looks cool, though. Mm -hmm. Here's the hot toy of Jack Sparrow. For Dead Men Tell No Tales. Very high <laughs> quality. <laughs> oh, you're laughing at the fiction on the right? Yeah. That's it's like funny. spot on. I like how they come with different faces. If you're a Jack Sparrow fan, is that a, is that like the zombie shark he's standing on on the left there? Looks like the face of a zombie shark. Maybe. Here's some Funko. These are Batman and Classics TV series figures. I like these. Uh, they're not super high quality, but they're a little bit better quality than those reaction figures they were doing so much of. And some of these figures you would never get unless they they did them through Funko. Like the Pharaoh or King Tut. Mr. Freeze. I really like these pint size heroes. Mm -hmm. Doc Brown, Marty. Good combination there. Spock, Xenomorph. I like what's your favorite pint size hero there? Um, I kind of like Lilu from The Fifth Element. Yeah, she's cool. I like this pint size here with the face hugger on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or, or the... I didn't notice that. Or the Predator in stealth mode. He's probably really rare. Uh, pretty cool. Star Wars Mystery Minis. This is something I'm so excited about and... I've been waiting so long. Me and Ducky collect a lot of mystery minis. And I've been asking for this for so long. But they also have little stands. Which is great because mystery minis tend to topple over. And these all look good. Some more steel books, And here's an image of Mera from... I don't know if this is Justice League or they started filming Aquaman yet. But it might, might just be from Justice League. I don't, I don't think they started Aquaman yet, but she looks pretty cool. She reminds me of Poison Ivy a little bit. I could see that, yeah. Moon, Steelbook. Here's an image from Star Trek Discovery. They kind of look like they're on Jakku from Star Wars. Yep, a little bit. Uh, I Oh, I forget the actress's name on the left. I really like her. Mm -hmm. And there's the Sasha Green. I think she's going to become the captain. Mm -hmm. Here's a Funko Pop of Neomorph. This is not accurate. <laughs> <laughs> the mouth isn't like that, though. Like, it, this is from the new movie, right? Yeah. The mouth was like a circle, and it was like jagged teeth. It wasn't like that. Okay. When he, In the movie. It was not like that. Anyway. Build-A-Bear, Guardians of the Galaxy, 
Spider-Man, Despicable Me 3. I like the Spider-Man one. It looks like the Mighty Mini that came out a while ago, though. Mm -hmm. And then they have the little unicorn for Despicable Me 3. That's funny. So fluffy. Mm -hmm. Star Wars, Transformers, which is horrible. Those Transformers Build-A-Bears are not looking good. No, they're really awkward. And here is some um, Funko Pop of Justice League. Batman, Aquaman, Cyborg. They all look really good. Wonder Woman. Here's a little segment I'm going to try. Tell me if you are viewing this and you like it and you want me to do another version of upcoming Steelbooks. It's going to be take a closer look at the original poster versus what we're getting for home release in the Steelbook. And it's pretty close to what we got on the poster, but they did away with the um, the characters walking. The, it's exactly the same. It just zoomed in on King Kong. And yeah. then on the back of the Steelbook is the characters walking. Yeah. So it's the same thing. It's a little more detailed, though. No, it's just zoomed in. So you well, can I see like the it. face. I like it. I like, I like it too. I like I'm it just more. saying it's the same thing. Well, what do you prefer, the steel book or the poster? Um, I probably the steel book. And here's a look at the Logan. This is there were a few different versions of Logan posters that were out, and here's what we got for the steel book. Um, I like both a lot, and I really like that they got a Marvel artist to do the steel book design. Uh, if you had to pick one, though, which one would you go with? The original poster or the Steelbook? Oh, uh, the original poster. Really? Yeah. I would go with the Steelbook because it has X-23 on it. I like the design, or the the style of the um, drawing, but I just wish there was a different pose of Logan and X-23. Her hair was, like, flipped up. It just seems X-23's like... face looks like a Buffy vampire right now. Okay. <laughs> yes. And that pose. She looks like a Buffy vampire. Okay. That's all I gotta say. So you would go with the original? Yes. Alright. And here's a Superman pop. Oh, and this is the section of the of the the podcast where I would do Q and A. Uh, as of recording I have seventeen subscribers, which I really appreciate. And I hopefully one of you does leave a comment for the next episode. <laughs> I'm leaving this blank for now, but this is where I will answer questions or give shout outs in future episodes. I appreciate Ducky coming to, to be in this episode. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe and give a like. We, I would appreciate it. See you later. Bye.